This is my 2002 Land Rover Discovery Series 2, also known as the Disco 2, and I got it at a local auto auction for just 900 bucks. I always thought the Disco 2 jump seats were pretty cool, and unfortunately this one did not have them. However, luckily a local junkyard had a 2001 Disco with the same tan interior and the jump seat. So I got all the parts and panels I thought I might need to see if I could add a jump seat to my Disco. Okay, <laughs> I had to say okay when I start every cut all that out. What we're going to do today is put the third row jump seat into this side of the Discovery 2. I looked online to see if anybody had done this and it sounds like it's pretty complicated because you need a lot of trim panels. I was at a junkyard getting parts for this and the one there had the third row. So I got the seat, I got the bracket that goes on the floor, I got the upper and lower trim panel and the headdress that attaches up there. We're going to see if we can do this. So first things first, we're going to take all this stuff out of here. There's a little get to that. I think that'll be easier to do next. But look, you always need a backup case of oil when you own one of these. I'm starting with this side because this is the side I have the jump seat for. I am going to take the other side out because I want the carpet gone so we can clean it. I can destroy this side is what I'm trying to say. I don't know if there's one down there. Oh look, that's nice. Did you just break it? Yup. So I do have to take the seat off. Why are you breaking it? I'm not breaking it, I'm disassembling it. So I got it. You all that. Yay! <gasps> there are bolts there! Or blanks at least. That's where it attaches? Yeah, and look, I have... Ugh. I don't know what that does. Hold okay, it. you cannot let this go inside of there. You Do know how you I know that? Because it'll ruin it. Here, Lily, you want this? No! Don't touch that thing, it's dirty, Lily. It's not dirty! It's a little dirty. Yeah. Here's our series. That's good over here. Did you see how easy that one was? How many bolts were there? Four! <laughs> one, two, trace. That's how you're breaking it? <laughs> Hopefully I'm not breaking it. Okay. All right, let's get That's the seatbelt off, and then we are done. All right, Lily, it's gonna get loud again. Let's put this up real quick. Can you? And then let's vacuum out the broken glass. Where's the broken glass? Walking on, walking on, bro. Is that copyright violation? Yes. Was that how accurate my singing was? That it would be a violation. I thought you were playing the radio for a second. <laughs> This side has a uh, little cigarette outlet thing. Look at that. That'll never go back into place. I'm gonna take those bolts. Screws, flips. The problem is these things are so rusted they don't move. I thought this was just gonna peel up to be honest. Okay. I just have to get it over this one and that one. Lily, there's more glass under there, so just wait a second. Super heavy. Okay. I say okay every single time. I know. The little D-rings, I had them soaking with penetrating oil, and after that I hit the impact driver to them and it stripped the thread. So, they have to come out with the angle grinder. Let me know if my hair gel catches on fire. There we go. What are you feeling? Is this dramatic stuff? Yeah. Establishing shots. We <laughs> I'm gonna spray rust reformer on anything that looks rusty, um, but just wear a copy bolts just to make sure they don't rust. And anywhere else I see rust. This thing. It now looks prettier. 
Rust for good news. We got the carpet out. With the carpet out, what I was hoping to see, I saw. What holds the chair into place are four bolts along that wall and then a clip that goes right here. And in these little holes, you have to pop out this little plastic cap thing, which is kind of a pain to get out of there, but see, I saved this for the video. I got one out and I was like, oh, I'll show everybody else the fun part. It's a lot of extra hard drive space. <laughs> All right, pause it. There's two. Are you recording this? Yes. <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> All right, there's... Well, they are like 25 years old. How old is this thing? 21 years. It's a 2002. That's true. They have been doing their job to seal this for the last 21 years. The only other gasket was, this is the seat belt holder. There's a little piece of tape over it and I took that off and the exposure bolt is right there. And then the other thing is this headrest. There was another piece of foam up there when I took that off. Everything is already up there for this headdress to go into place. So the carpet's drying, we're gonna do a trial run. So that piece, there is this piece of plastic that once we put a hole in the carpet, that'll kind of finish it off. Don't think we need that to try it in. Unless it keeps it from dropping too, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it there. I don't really remember how it goes. It's different than you would think. No, that's the back, that's the front. This is only gonna, this only gonna go one way. Oh, that's why it was a pain. It's like spring loaded. When I took it out. What do you mean take it out? Oh, of the uh, junker on? Do you think it goes like that? Or do you think it goes like that? And then this, which way is the spring pushing it? Let's try to push it back up. Yes. This is as much of a pain in the ass as I expected it to be. But, pain in the butt. Is this gonna require me to help? No. Photographer. It's gonna require me to muscle it over. Maybe it'd be easier to get the top one first so that you can kind of push it down against that top bolt. Maybe. Or maybe I just push it down and somebody else puts it through the top bolt. But who? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> the photographer won't help. Alright, I guess I can put it down. Hold on. Well, I'm definitely not going to want to do this twice though. Is it okay if I scratch it? It was a pain to get it off the car at the other place. Uh, is it? No. Early celebration. Twisty twisty. Okay, I need to figure out what size majigger that is. Okay, hold on. let's make sure this actually goes into here first. Yeah. We now know it's possible. <laughs> Just a pain in the butt. Let's see if it sits good. Oh, look at that. So lovely. We'll put this part up. This. <laughs> That's so goofy looking. That's kind of funny. And then I guess you have to have the legs of a munchkin to sit here. Or you could have just this seat and it'd be a luxury seat. Maybe that's what I should do. There we go. <laughs> yes. It's kind of slick. Well, I guess I need the seat belt. <clears throat> okay. Ha <laughs> ha! So it works. Ooh, it's gonna. Tr Next time we put it in, there's a nice piece of plastic panel between here and there, and it's gonna scratch the crap out of that. So I cut this one out of the other one, and it has studs on the bottom. And I think if it had the studs, you could catch that the pressure on that one because it was actually real hard to pull it off these studs. This is all the junk you need to add the uh, third row jump seat to a Discovery 2. Last you were with us, I took all this junk out. I got it back in the car. That's the side, that's the stock side. That's all back in. So now we're gonna do the new side. Um, modification, there are five things you have to modify. The blanks where the seat belt attached, they're there, but they're not threaded. So I got, you have to get a tap, 11 millimeters by 1.25. And you have to tap this hole and this hole. There's also a bracket down here at the bottom, the hole is not tapped, which is right there. So that hole has to be tapped. So those are the three things. How many did I say? Five. Four. Um, the other thing that's missing is the grommet for the, oh no, the fifth. You have to cut a hole in the carpet and you have to get a grommet to attach a screw to a little hole right there. I didn't have one, so I just glued a piece of plastic in there and we'll be screwing to that. 
So what do I need to tell you? Seat belt. You'll notice my seat belt doesn't match. That's because I did get a seat belt from the junkyard to use right here and it retracted together. Once they retract together, you cannot get them apart. The internet said maybe if you pull really hard, they'll go back together, then you can... No, that didn't work. So then I tried to take it apart to see if I could release the clutch and a giant spring exploded out of it <laughs> and that ended up in the trash. So then I went on eBay and I ordered the, the, I ordered the cheapest one I could find. And while I was looking like, oh, they have tan. My car's tan, I'll get the tan ones. No, they're all black. We'll, we'll let this be a warning to whoever rides back here that this was not installed by a professional. So now we just have to put the pieces back in. First things first. I already put this one in. And you'll see, I already cut the hole right here. The camera wasn't here, so I just did it without a camera. We're gonna put the brace in first. It's just, when you're looking at this carpet from underneath, it's kind of obvious where the screw I just had in my hand vanished to. Interesting. Do you know where I put it? We're gonna get this little piece in here. And when you're looking at this carpet from underneath, it was pretty obvious there was a little indent in the foam. So it was pretty clear where to at least get started with taking the to cut. So I, what I did, I cut a little bit of it out and then set it down and measured this and got it in there. But this little trim piece. I already drilled the hole up there for this to go into. Look at that. It looks factory. Um, I did not replace these D-rings, so no cargo will be attached. All right, this piece in next. I have to unbolt the seatbelt and jump it in. Hoo -ha! Don't let it get too close. This may never come back out. And now this piece goes back into place. Oh look, it even lines up with the holes from the other one. Convenient. And then these little push pins are what holds it into place. They line up. Oh, oh. They line up. And then this is the one we had so much trouble getting out. I've decided just to be the meaner you are with this stuff, the better it works. Within reason, because the plastic <laughs> does eventually break. You know, I was watching how I took this apart last night so I could remember how to put it back together. Oh, did I get it? It was just a pain part. But look, it's there, ta-da! Okay, what now? Oh, upper trim panel. Seat belt goes through here. That's supposed to be behind, no, that's good. Okay. Ah. And there's two long ones, and the rest are short ones. The long ones go at the back. Can you see? There's one of this little C pillar? I don't know. Ha ha! Um, what about that one? Which one? Oh, these. Those are different. Good catch. Good catch. I don't know what a cotch is. Those are little screws that have these little caps that fall over and every single one of them broke. Did I show it to you or did no. it go too fast? <laughs> so what is this, a new one? No, just the cap broke, so we're just going to oh. snap it over and we'll try to line it up so that way the next person thinks they broke it. Okay. If it still sticks on, is it really broken? <laughs> Only in your mind. All right this piece that's the same same as over there so it doesn't matter but it still has to go just held in by a little screw but again that's the same as that other side. oh I need to get clipped in Ugh. hold on well, that looks better this 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 and it goes right in there and then look this little thing holds it that way it doesn't cover the vent. The vent's very important. It makes sure the inside of your car can breathe. I don't know what it's for. A little venti poo. Vent. What next? Mm, jump seat. Oh yeah, the jump seat. Oh, okay. This is important. When we were putting this together, we actually had to stop and he had to help me get it out. The trick is these things, you don't latch it into the bottom. You kind of brace it like that. And you can actually get to the the uh, four screw holes. And these were tapped. They just had a little what plastic. What we were cover. trying to do? We were trying to. We had it engaged and flat, and it was putting so much pressure on that spring, we couldn't get it. We were fighting it the whole time. Right. So lift it up at a forty-five degree angle. Yes. That's how to do it. You do have to buy new screws for the bottoms, 
because the way it is at the factory, there's studs in the bottom and then screws in the top, but I found screws and they went in. So that's what we'll use. Okay, you line up the hole. And then we'll get this side. Can you see? Here, I'll contort. Actually, I can. All right, and then I just do the bottom too. Do make sure. Uh, okay, sorry, start over. Do make sure when you're getting parts at the junkyard, you get an extra grab handle because you're gonna end up with an empty space here if you do not. Wait, is this whole upper panel new? Yeah, this is a dip because over here, if you look, there's no seat belt holder or hole and there's no grab handle. That's the two differences. Mm. So yeah, you have to get the new upper and new lower panel. And there's more. Wait, so do some Discovery 2s come with a jump seat installed? Yeah, and that's the one at the junkyard had the, the jump seat installed. That's actually why I decided to do this. It was not my goal, but when I saw it there, I was like, I'm going to do this. There's a little trim piece that covers this just to make that look pretty. Um, we'll push this up so we can push it. It holds it there. Oh, I missed it. Did you miss it? Mm -hmm. So look, the way this, oh, this is important too. If you're doing this and you find one. So the way to get it to release from here, this took me a long time to figure out. Are you filming? Mm -hmm. are, are you recording? Yes. It's this, you have to pull this strap, which pops it up from there. I could not, it, maybe I'm dumb, but it took me a long time to figure that out. Also it folds kind of like up and over. So it kind of moves different than I expected it to. Finishing touches, a little piece right here to make that seat belt look covered. We need the front seat belt portion in. You need the front seat board belt board belt portion in. I'm bored. And the little cappy doodle. You have to have the headrest. Ta-da! And the headrest actually attaches to the ceiling. You won't you should crawl inside. Is that a train? It sounded like it. Why is there a train? I don't know. It is the 1930s. So these screws were here. It was covered by a piece of So once I took the sticky off, uh, this will go right in. It'll go in here. And then these two come in through here. Just get them started. Um, so just get this started. But kind of leave it loose. And then you can do the one from the outside. And then there's one from the outside, which is a Torx. The one on the outside is a T30. Uh, and this hole is here too. It was just covered by another one of those pieces of uh, sticker. And then we'll tighten from the inside. And then one last piece. You have to get the... Tr the back trim, you have to have a new one because you need the uh, these little holes for the headrest. So that's the only part that doesn't look complete when you do a half one like I did, because there'll be this little hole over there, but whatever. Oh, so some have two jump seats? They, you either get two jump seats or you get two of these compartments. Mine is the only one in existence with one of each. <laughs> it's a Frankenstein. I, uh, how does this go in? Mm -hmm. That looks about right. It does? Or opposite. One of those two ways. The smooth side oh, goes yeah. out. Okay, it goes this way. Holes go down. And then they do clip into this little thing. Oh, you got it. This is just held into place by six clips. And that's it! Do we get that, these? Yeah, it's installed! The way it works. Let's put this away for the... The seat unlatches, unlatches, the bottom picks up, slams into the thing, folds up, comes down, jump seat. Huzzah! And then a little seat belt. Will the aftermarket seat belt clip into the stock seat belt majigger? Yes. All right, now roll it down a hill and see if I fall out.
This is the conclusion to the, can you add a third row jump seat to a Discovery 2 that does not have one? I replaced my headliner because it was terrible looking. You do not have to do that for the jump seat. It can be done. You have to have a jump seat, this panel, the seat belt, the upper panel, the headrest, and you have to have this trim along the back. And you need the support for the floor and you need the seat belt support for the floor, which is over there. The other tools you need, other than you know a normal set of sockets and wrenches and various Torx drivers, you need to be able to uh, have a tap and die set because some of the um, bolt holes that hold the seat belt have not been tapped. You also have to cut your carpet. So it's a lot of work for that little jump seat, but it can be done if you can find all the donor pieces. And I think that's the only way it'd be you know, at all worth it is if you can find one of these at a pick apart yard or a junkyard and you can get it for cheap. I think I did it for about 200 bucks. If you consider, I go, oh no, it was probably wasn't. The seat was 25, the seat belt was 25. Each panel is like 15 in the headrest, which they called that a center console and another random trim panel. It's weird, those places don't really, it seemed more like they were just looking at my cart and they wanted to charge me about 200 bucks. So everything I got cut about $200. And let's see how it works. Unlatch, up and over, down, down, that folds up, this comes down, and there you go, you got a third row jump seat. And man, if that other seat was in there, you don't have any, I mean, down room, so it really is only good for a child. But I like it. And maybe I'll keep this one out, just so I can use that jump seat I put all that work into.